These are the rounds that scare me. If they play correctly, they can take showers from you. Here, we're, we're breaking the rules. And I don't want you breaking the rules. What's the rule on buying? You split the map, the two halves, and we have a weak side. We got strong side. Weak side is classified by the side that has less agents on it on defense. So that would be A this round because we have two. And there's a rule on binds that really shouldn't be broken. And so when you're on weak side, you need to double up to contest a lane and give one up. And I'll explain to you why right now. Let's imagine the attacking team is uh, a little bit strong and they recognize that you smoke, you go for orb and your showers is weak. If they contact up right now, even three of them, and they just run an A split, with two short. This Phoenix flashes through the smoke. Let's pretend you dodge it because you're over here. And they just barrel run into showers. You go one for one. Let's pretend they don't even have Sage Res, but they do. So it's even worse. You go one for one. Now Raze is alone and you haul, you lose the round. You run the round earlier where Raze was here with you holding showers. That was perfect. And they did rush into showers. They used flashes. They bum rushed in, but you had a crossfire. And so you were capable of holding it. And this is why it might seem counterintuitive. You're going to be like, who's what if they all come short? We'll just be giving up a short. They're going to plant the bomb. They're going to wall. They're going to plant. Yeah, they are. And we're, we're chilling. Post plant on this map is not that big of a deal if we have showers control. In fact, you and Raze, I would suggest you double push flank at this point and keep this wall up because this wall makes it very hard for them to come into showers. Your retakers will come this way and we'll party. 5v5 retake, baby. Okay, I love, I love you. Oh, perfect. Close, close, close. You got it. My ult's ready. Perfect. Now, like, do you see how much better this feels? They have no idea this raise is here. I mean, that omen dying is crazy. That's crazy. Well, they have okay. no idea about this raise. So she gets one. Yeah. Easy. Easy peasy. Doubled up on weak side. Easy round. But we got lucky because we didn't call it. Bow, bow. Flu flu's heckin' arch nemesis, dude. Brimstone bind. Brimstone bind. Bet. Bet we got the world's easiest agent on the world's easiest map. Let's see it. Okay, hookah with classic light armor. Cipher B with us. We have a trip for hookah. Cam spotting long. I can get behind it. Yay. Okay, careful smoking too early. I think you're about to smoke too early. There it is. There's no reason to smoke yet. Are they coming out? We don't have info. Our team just said A. That means there was some level of noise. I need to see a, a dog from the enemy team on the mini map. I need to see like your team is saying, yo, they're smoking A. It's something, something. Um, the smoke is probably too early. Um, our teammates aren't even holding it. Down. Okay, they're out. Great. So it works. But this is exactly when I would smoke. This would be my indicator. And you should rotate or fly and come down for either. Planted. Planted. Shower, right? Yeah, one smoke left. Wait for us. Hey. Okay. Guide out. Watching smoke. Could we shower? Careful, please. Thank you. Last player standing. Molly. That's <laughs> tough. That's tough. You're too slow. Too slow to show up to the party. It's pistol round, bro. Also, you you were on site with a cipher. So there's no world we should care about anchoring or covering the TP or anything. We have a cipher cam spotting that. It's not our problem. Uh, I probably would have flanked personally because they have no senti. Launching smoke. Hell yeah, lock this shit down. Grab a shell. Play anti, play anti, bro. Almost was belong. Okay, it's one is easy, one is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. This. Perfect round. Okay. You smoke, you orb farm, you lock showers down. I don't care after that. I would personally shotgun in here. Shower. Smoke's down. Yeah, so this smoke is acceptable because the dog has already come out. Are you sure? Launching smoke. Good smoke. Long. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. You do not shoot back. This is so lucky. This is so lucky. So first of all, they're not even hitting you. You're chilling. 
Second of all, there's a rule. So this is a smoke. And we're going to play a roughly two-dimensional game of Valorant. Okay, we're in a hall. And we're going to have a player A. And we're going to have a player B. Both have phantoms. Who has the advantage? The smoke is... You can't walk through it. But bullets can go through it. And the smoke never disappears. And also, we're going to put walls behind both of you. Yeah, the B player has a huge advantage. They have a huge advantage. Because the effective width of you is wider so let, let's say okay so if we grab our protractor boom, 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 the the b player moving in either of these directions affects the angle at which you have to aim by like a larger factor than the angle they have to aim and it's like based off of like um the the difference between the x and y here Ooh, i panicked a lot there yeah yeah you you shouldn't though because it's like a normal strategy you're smoking and farming the orb I cannot believe you get a kill. Two guys say that. Two guys say that. I'm low though. Okay, so let's just pause right here. Talk about how I would play. Because we're actually in a pretty good good position. We got a pick on a lurker. They made some B presence, but they got an A pick. They're Omen. And we killed who? Viper. So Omen is almost certainly the edge. And their positioning looks like this. Like, I'm pretty sure it was just one showers. Because if it was one of these other guys, they would have spam back as well. Use some util. But let's check the Valo plant. Let's confirm our suspicions. I'm pretty sure showers is ours to control right now. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You see? And this is exactly what I drew on the mini map. I drew this shape. Because this is just the shape that they have. You'll, you'll recognize the patterns the more you play Valorant. The omens the edge and we know that they're leaning towards b okay so if you can recognize this we're low hp what are these guys likely to do they're likely to just all walk up short and if you fight them head on here you will die for free on average you're 11 hp so what can we do well the first thing we can do is we can literally just come out here and just control this area like from over here over here and we'll just hold this this is broken this is really broken the reason why is if they come this way they're not going to expect you on this box with this angle and so now all of a sudden, I'm going to give you better odds. I'll call it a 50-50. And we take those. We take those. You're low HP. But more likely, if they don't come here, they're going to plant the bomb. One of them is going to come showers. And they're going to be looking this way. And now you already see. You already see, right? Zoop. Boop. And they already assumed that you went heaven or CT or some shit. You're out of their minds. So just coming and controlling this area over here for the late showers rewrap. That's what it's called. This is actually a pattern on bind coming late showers. You'll see this in pro games all the time. It's really powerful and they're never going to come into showers, walk all the way out here and clear this box. They won't do that um, unless it's like Viper, I guess, and she has lineups from over here, but they don't have a Viper alive. I digress. That point where we're one wearing short. Yeah, yeah, I know. We got to talk about that, Jay. But for now, we have to go showers. Let's see what we do. Let's see what we do. Okay, we smoke, we molly. Yeah, we just play backside. Like, you're just going to take a fight. They could have even walked the lamp section. Like, like, I genuinely think playing over here on 11 HP is going to be better than playing slow and getting the sky hill. Yeah, whatever. They're going to go B. We win the round for free. Nice shots. You need to press your flank. By the way because we are going to get shit on by this team's default if we don't um at least attempt to exploit the fact I that they I... don't have a trip so they're pro they're, there's four lanes here for them to contest i show you the valo plant you're gonna notice there's almost always gonna be at least one dude who's alone on their defaults because they'll be spread too thin oh unfortunately they just hit a site here uh last round they were defaulted you see phoenix is alone sky is alone Viper is alone. And so the way you can counter these types of comps in solo queue um, is actually quite tough to do this in a pro game. If this were a pro game, you're actually just kind of because their team composition is just that good. But it's not a pro game. It's solo queue. And so what you can call against comps like this is you double push some uh, lane together. So like Sky and Raze walk be long. Because statistically speaking they're going to run into one guy on their default and in a pro game this guy will be playing it really correctly they'll be playing like pixel they'll be super safe they won't die they'll get info they'll cancel they'll reset they go a in solo queue the guy will be way out here and they'll go one for one or zero for one and you'll win the round so i want to see more aggression actually against this team composition 
You can try to also lamps, bro. I mean, Joke's yeah. over. You're dead. Like, this is really annoying. <laughs> the B retake on this map is so hard with no flanker. I think I've explained this in my bind guide. You almost need a flanker to play B retake. So now you guys like have to hold B site, which is really annoying. And good Brimalt. So we're chilling. I don't like having to be in this position. Tippy, 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 tippy. One hook up. And like, imagine they TP now, except our raise is here and it's way better. We need to be encouraging our team to flank. One hook up, so he's gonna be like. Okay. What are you doing here, bro? They killed the hooker guy. Perfect. You are the late showers. You mollies yourself off. Oh, bottoms. I feel like they're happy about that. Oh, you gave them the fight straight. One enemy remaining. One more. Play together, play together. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. I wouldn't give them this fight. It, like, the longer you're alive, the more you're just winning the round. I would just chill. Maybe even throw a stim beacon down. Like, really make noise. Jump spot would be good. Yeah. Dying is the worst thing you could possibly do. Oh, no. oh, Smoke. No. We got showers. Smoke. Go nade him. <laughs> Bro. He left it. Like, you didn't need to be here again. We know, like, they've done this so many times now. It's kind of annoying that we keep doing the same thing. They come A short, they wall, and they plant. So you have two plays. Because you know they do this. They do it, like, every round. Play number one. Smoke showers. Stay out here. Spray that wall way faster. It'll, it'll make them very um, uncomfortable. Option two. You have Raze here. Tell Raze to go nade or whatever, break the wall, and you like stay hunkered down deep showers. Because what's going to happen is while like we're doing this nade shit, is this is like the timing that their annoying Viper dude is going to try and creep up into showers and take this from us. And if we have control of showers, we will win uh, the A post plant. If we have control of A showers and it's like 5v5, we will win the A post plant on average. Rim bind is very easy to get to a point where you're playing pretty much perfect macro and then you just have to be. Uh, a demon so what are we doing wrong you're going alone exactly why is that a problem we're weak side going alone is not a problem it's only a problem because we are weak side i need to understand that if you're going alone here but you have two a short not a problem you just have to be willing to give up showers if they're pressuring you but we're weak side if we give up showers we lose and so we need raise here you also just orb farmed on the last round of the game Rimstone alt takes eight orbs like it's kind of goofy, but you know, like even arena orb is going to be better than that. You basically just tell them that your showers for free um, because when you take this orb, the enemy team can hold tab. Let's pretend Viper is lurking. She's right here. She hears you take the orb. She holds tab. Now she sees you gained plus one orb and she knows that Brimstone is incapable of smoking B site right now. And she calls a B pop, which is still fine for us. We got the f squad. So. 14. Nice. Bad. I, I put the late TP, nice. honestly. On site, two on site. One enemy remaining. One, one. I'm lagging. Wait, just, just wait. I'm lagging. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, how do we convert this? Look where we are. Where's the bomb? I believe it's out hookah. Our positions right now are no good. But fortunately, Viper has to come to us. So, all you got to do is start with smoke, smoke. The reason why we're doing that is we're putting Viper in a cage. This will slow her down. Why do we want to slow her down? Because we need to play for the bomb it's over here. And yeah, we can just hold what we're holding. You hold here, Sage holds here, and Viper can't get to the bomb without fighting one of you. True. But neither of these fights are particularly uh, good for us. They're not bad for us, but they're pretty 50-50. So I'll drop these smokes because now the fights are great for us, but not because I'm going to hold the smokes. That, that won't work. They've got plenty of time. 20 seconds from now, the situation won't have changed. I'm going to drop the smokes and I'm going to call Sky over to Hookah. Because you and Sky can actually hold the Giga setup. Do you see it? The bomb is here. I think you've done it almost. Yeah, so it involves him playing in this region. And it, the important bit of this setup being strong is that jumping into Hookah is terrible. It's terrible. So because jumping into Hookah is so hard, all you need is this player in here holding the jump up. And where do you go? Let's say this is Sky coming into Hookah. Where do you go? Tell me. I don't think you know the answer. But if you do, you're a beast. Hold from Hookah. I don't know. Probably under the red X, like T spawn ish. You mean like here? 
Beast. Correct answer. Beast. Beast, because there's no world she's doing this. I'm not worried about that because she's not going to clear this. It's a free kill and both of us have free kills. The Viper will only win the round now if she somehow routes this way. And even then she doesn't win. She has to kill our hookah guy. This is the best conversion. It removes all skill from the game because the Viper is going to route this way. She's never going to clear you. Free kill. Or she's going to route this way. Never going to clear you. Free kill. And now this, the reason why I would see this so quickly is because this is a pattern. A pattern. Let's say we're on Haven. I've shown this angle before. The enemy player has to come out this way. Where do we go? Back here, baby. Back here. Because they'll never clear back there when they're coming out. See? Okay, what's the problem with the A hit? It's bind. It's simple. It's pistol, so like it's fine. But what's the problem with the A hit? No showers. No showers. No showers. And we don't have like sage wall or anything. How are we going to plant? I'll tell you how we're going to plant. They're going to come through these smokes like goofballs. Muffin. I'm gambling this. Oh, bet. Bet. That works too. That works too. All right, now look, remember when I told you to play on this box because they're going to come showers, you'll get a free kill. Look how your team is already like trying to get this showers going. This is actually, uh, this is the pattern. This is the late showers lurk. It, very topical on bind. I hit, I'm low. Like if you look at your minimap and you see this, you really need to, you need to call the, uh, the round. You have to slow it down. If you slow down this round, you win. They will not clear this cypher. Well, they will if everybody dies. Look. Last player standing. See? He whiffed, but they're not clearing him. Like, this guy was diffusing. So if you just slowed it down, we win the round. Someone might be more, more, more short. Close. Okay, okay. So let's just like exercise. Let's pretend they are playing correct bind because this is how you should think about the game. Where is their sky dogging from? Like elbow or some shit, right? Or over here. So with that in mind, what's our B play? It's eco round. Uh, there's such a five head play right now. We're on eco. I see a gamble that should pay off. It's tough to see. I'll give you a hint. I'm smoking hookah. I'm using my one smoke. I'm using a hookah. Why? Because they've seen a lot of us be long. It might be all five of us. And if I smoke hookah, then the hookah players They've seen this before. It's a common hit where you'll actually all go belong. You'll smoke like this and you'll hit the site. What does it tell the hookah players when you do that? It tells them nobody's pushing hookah, except there is somebody pushing hookah. We're lying. We're bluffing because it's our eco round. We have to make a gamble. I would smoke hookah, make a lot of noise fighting belong, and then I would TP. Yes, I want all of us to TP and I'm leaving Cypher behind to literally jump out of this hookah smoke silently. And we're going to, we're TPing, but we're not going on to A. We're TPing and they think we're going on to A and we're just running all the way back to be immediately and our cypher is gonna kill one maybe two and get b cypher free that's my gamble does that work i don't know but we we don't have like it's eco round so just one smoke here and it changes everything because if you just tp without that smoke it the hookah player is more likely to push out they could be suspicious of this defaulty play but this hookah smoke really like i don't know it sells the idea that you're really uh pushing demands a lot of confidence to me so who cares it's eco round chupi i'm i'm gambling it's eco round i gotta smoke hookah and be like yo let's all tp I won't even explain the f***ing smoke. I'll be like, yo, Cypher, lurk up B. Okay, what's wrong with this round? Yeah, you're taking too much space alone with no info. Enemies on eco round. Is there bonus? Let's pretend uh, like A is their weak side. Didn't you just get giga blasted for free? I, I actually do like splitting up against their bonus, but I would play way safer. Sort of like how your Sky and Raynar are playing and, and just trying to figure out their formation. I don't want to contest space alone. I have a really deep, I'm really deep in bathroom already. Why did we see Sky Dog elbow here? I have a really deep... I'm also... No, no, no. no. Yeah, it's okay. a free kill. Okay, okay. Good ult. Good ult. Uh, I'm down for you to, to yap at this raise. Um, argument can be made for ulting here, but I actually like ulting U-Haul this game. But dude, do you really need four guys short to take short with a brim ult? You need like two, man. I'm worried about showers where Sage is going to put a wall up. Remember when I was yapping about split because that guy was saying 
walling mid is bad and i was getting mad at them because they're super wrong because what does the wall mid do it forces you to send more than one guy mid on attack to break it which weakens the sting of like an a rush because otherwise you, can re you, you remember all of this shit or maybe you don't you tuned in later doesn't matter other people remember it sage walling showers is getting the free god the same free value I if she walls showers and you only have one dude pushing showers dude shit we, we lose round over all just like that Launching smoke. One enemy remains. Yeah, so I will um I would never throw this Molly. This is the one brimstone Molly lineup I think you need to know. This is the one Molly lineup you gotta know, dude. You gotta know this one. Um but the dude speaking of, I don't even know if I have it right. I think it's here. This is what playing too much rage does to a man. I'm a beast. I'm a beast. This volley is so broken. L learn it and use it. In this post plant, it will just secure the round. So right now, it started ticking twice as fast. That means they have 20 seconds left, okay? If your Reyna buys you 5.1 seconds, you win. Because if your Molly lands when there's 14.9 seconds left, it'll last 8 seconds. They will have 6.9. Nice. Left to defuse. It takes 7 to defuse. They'll have to tank the molly a bit. You get what I'm saying. Of course, they could jump on the molly last like half a second. So Reyna actually has to buy like six seconds. But you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. She has to get on that bomb from Hookah in the next six seconds to win the round against this stupid molly lineup. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure why we planted there. We have Reyna coming Hookah and this plant is actually... She can't see it. Walk into this dot. Plant, aim at this triangle. You get the bomb up here. You can see it from long. See it from hookah. What's the problem? You know the problem. You're contesting showers alone, which honestly on late timing is not terrible, but like is still bad. They know, they know about me here. Yeah. Yep. Ouch. Ouch. Can you come with us? Can you come with us? Ouch. Taste of your own medicine. Come in, come in. I can flash for you guys. Oh, bet we're going to pop through? Bet! Oh, God. Oh, God. Get me out. Double controller? <laughs> this is so hard. The Boomba would have seen him there. I'm not going to lie, dude. Against that, you have to just like go B. Um, their comp is too good. You, you don't have... We have to like threaten some default lurk so that we can cancel our hit and go to the other side. Um, we, we want Cypher lurking B long on our A hits so that we can consider TPing close or smoking close TP to B. We're canceling or Cypher lurking showers on our B hits so we can consider TPing to him. The, their comp is too good. We needed to get more rounds on defense. Okay. We don't need to... Fast your nice. Well, I can smoke him off. Stinker, I can't. Oh. Left, left, left. This guy. Good boom bot, honestly. Damn! Man, this is such a miserable attack to play. That round was really good. I don't know if you noticed, but your team accidentally did what I was talking about. If you see, here we're pressuring A. And we're accidentally lurking B. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's actually really funny because I was telling you like this is the only way you're really going to get rounds attacking this team. And now we just happen to do it on accident. And so lurking accept. Reyna genuinely saves the day. It's the best thing for her to be doing right now. As Smoke's player, you get to have a better understanding of overall map macro slash win conditions. This is important because Smoke's allow you to... Do, 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 influence the positioning of your enemies in favorable ways to do it is it's tough notes dude but you're playing smokes and you're playing bind your mechanics look fine your mid rounding looks fine the problem is you're not seeing the patterns you're not doubling up for showers control you didn't walk out of showers on low hp you didn't see things like the smoke hookah and these are the things that a controller main is gonna see the gap between you and a 
Radiant controller main is the you're not tricky. This can be a hard gap to close, but that's the controller role for you. That's why it's frequently IGLs play this role. I'm missing this from you. Too much solo play on defense. Weak side. Too much five stack attacking on attack. Do, do, do. More splits. More two two with plus one alert. Be more aware. You need to you need to understand the map. Not be more aware. You need to understand what the conditions are for each map to like a successful site hit. And then if you're on defense, you need to do everything you can to deny those conditions. And on attack, you need to try and meet those conditions. And smokes are a unique role that allow you to manipulate the conditions a lot easier, which is why it's usually the smokes role that thinks about these things the most. Which is why I I get really upset with filled smokes players. Yeah, it's tough. So on bind, the macro is pretty straightforward, but you have to just understand um, different maps. So for example, on ascent, let's just talk about B hits. Like there's lots of facts when we talk about B hits working from the attacker's perspective. The biggest thing is you're going to need some level of control of stairs as you come out. And we're going to want to avoid fighting too heavily in this region. You're going to be hit. So like you recognize this is like what the attackers want. In fact, they'll frequently also want some market pressure. Then you as a smokes main need to think, how do I deny this? And your answer can't be, well, I'll smoke be main, maybe. Because like no shit, you'll smoke be main. Of course you will. But like maybe we'll TP stairs, CT, because we rotate it off of A, and we'll deny stairs in some capacity, even smoking ourselves off. Who knows? It depends on the way the enemy team's playing. But you get what I'm saying. Like these conditions, they matter a lot more for the controller role because uh, you can influence them a lot. Like let's say the enemy team's hitting A. You know that there's only three of them A main. You have a teammate tree. It's pretty obvious they're going to try to split. And you know for a split to work, or you should know, they need to be coming out roughly the same time to control tree and so like now you can one way tree to try and break up their pacing like as these guys are flooding up it's super dynamic but you need to understand the map macro i didn't see that in your bind gameplay hey woohoo jin here did you know that i stream every weekday doing vod reviews and playing ranked if you enjoy the videos the best way to support me is to show up live if this video was just uploaded it's very likely that i'm streaming right now all of my coaching is free but that means i need to make money in other ways please consider supporting me with a discord subscription if you can afford to do so i run many live events for my tier 3 subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day at 2000 subscribers i'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.